Sergeant Romick, how is Asheville involved in this? And this sounds like a very serious situation. I know that you also have concerns. We were notified by uh, Rowan County Sheriff's Department of a missing persons case that they are working and it is believed that Erica Parsons, the 15 year old missing girl, was last seen in Asheville uh, perhaps Thanksgiving 2011. <clears throat> are you just learning this? Because people would be like, well, how come this hasn't been investigated? Tell me your side of, of this whole breaking story. Well, we first heard about it today through the authorities in Rowan County. And expand on that. What are you guys trying to do? Are you actively trying to help? What are your detectives doing? This is a missing girl. She could be dead. Right now, we are trying to reach out to the authorities in Rowan County and try to learn from them uh, what can possibly link Asheville to this case. Well, we, we heard that the girl had gone to come here to stay with relatives two years ago. <clears throat> Is it, some of this stuff not adding up to you? I mean, tell me what your detective's been doing. Have you had any communication? And what is the latest with the work that you guys are doing? We have had no communication as to this point, but we're still trying to reach out to them. What concerns me is that I find it odd that if she was reported here in October of 2011, I find it odd that we haven't come across her, we haven't stumbled across her before now, uh, and certainly what concerns me is we haven't been notified about this until now, because we certainly want to assist the authorities in Rowan County. In general terms, what does two years mean in terms of an investigation or trying to find someone alive? It, it's an eternity. Two years in a missing persons case is an eternity. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. As we all know from recent events in Cleveland, sometimes a miracle can happen and things can, uh, can resolve themselves in a positive way even 10 years down the road. But two years is very concerning to me. Um, Hang on one second. Just move around to keep the, there's a mouse wandering in the background with the shot. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, what will you try to, as soon as you make, do you think it's odd that they're not calling you back, R Rowan County, Rowan County? Not necessarily. What, what do you think about that? What could that be? It could be that they're, they're working the case on their end. And perhaps they've got the information that they need uh, to, to conduct a thorough investigation uh, in Rowan County. I'm confident that if and when they reach out to us, though, they, we will be there to assist them. Um, do you think it's odd that it was just reported two weeks ago by the stepbrother? I mean, is that normal in your mind? No, it's very concerning to me as well. Uh, if she was last seen two years ago uh, and just reported missing two weeks ago, that doesn't add up. What would you say to anyone out there watching that might have seen this girl? Do you want to take a good look picture? I mean, there's a chance that she's alive in the national, right? You know, the public that will be watching the story, you know, did you get tips from the public? And, you know, when you put out a story like this, can they assist? Perhaps. And I'm sure you folks are going to be putting out the flyer. Uh, APD will be following it up with a press release tomorrow. Uh, hopefully with some more information from Rowan County to share. Uh, and we ask that anybody that has any information about this incident to call Crime Stoppers or call the Asheville Police Department.